Um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as I said yesterday, uh, my name's James, uh, and I run a company called Carbon Voyage. And unlike my accent, um, that's Australian, I'm actually based in London uh, with a team in uh, the Silicon Roundabout, sort of East End, cool part of town. Um, what I'm going to talk to you about today is uh, what we're doing in Carbon Voyage. Um, and, and really, to set the scene, I'm actually going to talk through a, a client problem that we have. Um, we're, we're a startup, um, and one of our clients is Earl's Court in Olympia, um, one of the biggest, uh, most well known venue locations uh, in the United Kingdom. The major issue for them is actually congestion. They've got about 3 million visitors uh, every year uh, and 30,000 exhibitors, um, all of whom individually book their own uh, journeys to and from the venue, whether it's about people or freight. And so this creates a bit of a drama for them. And this is exactly the same issue that a lot of other venues have. Um, fortunately, though, they've actually paid us to um, build a solution, um, which is this. It's a web-based service which is all about matching up transport users and transport providers. And when you can sort of aggregate demand and supply, you can actually find real opportunities to achieve savings which is not just about cost, it's also about congestion and, importantly for me, about carbon. So we built this uh, and it goes live uh, in February um, to the marketplace uh, and this is indeed sort of a, a very new uh, innovation in the UK event industry. In terms of making money, uh, kindly they paid us some cash to um, deploy the software but after that it becomes a transaction model. The real value proposition though, and why people will uh, consider using it, uh, are these things here. For transport users, it's about actually finding opportunities to share transport and save money. Um, you might have a couple of exhibitors who are individually booking journeys that are actually the same as each other and they come from the same place. And this actually allows us to collaborate on joining those two requirements together. For transport providers, there's two things. Firstly. The problem for a freight company is they might be sitting outside a venue for a couple of hours um, trying to get something in because of the congestion. So by tree, making things more efficient, you help them become more efficient. Um, and then secondly, by filling empty return journeys, they can make cash on their way home instead of spending a lot of money on petrol that is going to waste. Uh, for the venue, it's actually about reducing congestion and actually there's a new revenue stream for them. Also for the venue, they have a, an impact on the local community and that's actually very important. So for the local community, actually it's about um, reducing congestion and air pollution. Critical mass is very key to this and actually if you tried to do this in an ad hoc sense, we'd fail massively. So by focusing on big transport hubs or existing networks, that will allow us to get to that point of critical mass. Um, people are going to find out about it uh, both online and offline. Online through websites, not just ours, but Earl's Court Olympia website, or if you're going to a horse show or, or whatever, you'll actually find out about it on those websites because they're all going to get some cash out of this as well. And also through social networks. <coughs> offline though, at the uh, site, there'll be priority access for freight companies, dedicated parking areas, and they're actually going to chuck out a whole bunch of leaflets, posters and so on. That kind of model is actually something that can be sort of exported elsewhere once we launch it next month and we have an agreement that we're not going to go to any other major venues or transport hubs until we launch it there. Um, however, one of our other clients is uh, London Underground and they've got a thing called the Low Carbon Station Initiative um, and similarly what we've done at Earl's Court is something that we're going to look at with a lot of major transport hubs around London in partnership with London Underground. There's a lot of other opportunities that we have though but it's very critical for us to focus um, on executing successfully uh, at Earl's Court. Something I wanted to mention though is um, this thing down here which is the Freight Operator Recognition Scheme. Quality um, of freight companies is a bit of an issue um, and it's something that we acknowledge. Um, Transport for London have set up a thing called the Freight Operator Recognition Scheme which is all about essentially accrediting really good freight companies and we're sort of very closely involved in that. And through the link with that, that will actually assist um, with some of the quality of service issues that we have. Um, just finally, I wanted to sort of say why we're interested in Startup Bootcamp. 
Um, really for us it's about resourcing and scaling up. I've bootstrapped a business, we've got a crazy little team in London, um, but we're sort of at the point where we need to scale up massively. So there's really a couple of things we need. One is about building runway, and which is cash, looking at the strategic partnerships that we need to develop, and then finally fill the gaps in the team. Thank you very much. <laughs>